welcome back guys to another video and today i have an update for my uh, raspberry pi robot so as you can see we have not one two or three but we have uh, six ultrasonic sensors on this robot right now so yes this took a lot of time and actually uh, this video was meant to be uploaded a little bit earlier but uh, well now is the time so let's see uh, how these sensors are actually wired up to the Raspberry Pi yes there is only the Raspberry Pi uh, to which all the sensors have been wired up and not any separate controllers so first of all uh, these sensors actually run at 5 volts and not 3.3 .3 volts that the Raspberry Pi is meant to run on so we have three uh, separate uh, level logic level uh, converters so they are bi-directional logic level converters so they each of them take four input or output depending on how you want to use them and they step down or step up the voltage so uh, we have three four six sensors because each sensor has two input and output and these each one of them have uh, four points uh, four input outputs that they can convert so and here is the voltage rate for 5 volts there is the voltage rate for 3.3 .3 volts everything is in a mess of wires and the uh, signals and the pins from the uh, ultrasonic sensors come into the logic level converters and then the pin from the logic level converters go on into the raspberry pi uh, you would also notice that i have a camera right now but that's not programmed so uh, i won't include it in the demo and the rest is what we had in the previous build so let's see what these six sensors do right now and how they perform alright guys let's test what these sensors are capable of doing so first off we have our the center sensor and at the front is of course as you can see to stop the robot from going any further if there is an obstacle so if you can see my controller uh, when I move it forward it stops automatically fair and simple now one of the things uh, you will notice is that it's actually working pretty well in the sunlight now that's one uh, problem with the infrared object detectors is that they don't work really well in sunlight so the next bit is actually the sensors on the corner sides so the front corner and the back corner now the reason for them is actually that they will kind of uh, automatically maneuver the robot to avoid obstacles so as you guys can see i am coming towards the block at an angle and the bot automatically maneuvers itself to avoid the block so let's do it once more with the uh, controller uh, in hand and if i move it forward it aut will automatically turn without me doing anything much so that's what the uh, sensors are for Okay, so I think uh, I can better demonstrate it inside my house since I've tested it here. So as you can see, the front sensors actually work pretty well. Uh, I, it, I, I automatically stops. So now during this whole time, I will be only accelerating it forward to uh, for you guys to see what the side sensors actually do. So let let me just position it correctly. And now when I accelerate it forward, it will automatically maneuver up away from the obstacle uh, and kind of go parallelly towards it. Uh, the center, uh, the uh, corner sensors at the back do a similar job. So I'll pull it backward and it will automatically adjust its own path. Uh, of course this is very useful so I can like simply uh, drive forward and it will automatically steer away from whatever is in its path so as you can see here it will go slightly and then slightly on the other direction to uh, safely go and not crash anywhere else uh, so this is about it for uh, now uh, many more things to come with the camera and the display uh, maybe have complete control with the uh, with my joystick uh, itself and no need for a Wi-Fi connected uh, SSH to control a few functions like power off and all of that stuff but yes this was in interesting uh, big shout out to Micronauts for providing me with the library uh, with the program for uh, the 
sensors uh, the program actually runs pretty accurately and does a really good job uh, and you know the Python, uh, Python programming on the Raspberry Pi is not very low level and especially when it comes to sensors like these uh, timing issues do occur and there are accuracy issues with them but that script did a great job and uh, I will probably make up a, uh, a follow up video explaining the code because it has been done a bit differently this time it's not a single uh, code it's actually multiple codes uh, working together so uh, how I connected them and all of that stuff and how it actually works so yes thanks for watching this video and thank you to my friend Devang he's handling the camera and uh, and we'll see you next time guys till then goodbye